Hello and welcome to this video where we are going to look more in depth into the functionality of the EQ in IPD. Configuring the EQ can be done in different ways. One is to simply move the mouse over and then press the left button and then lower and drag the EQ as you wish. You are able to set the slope of the EQ by pressing the right mouse button and then move sideways like this. Another way to control gain and bandwidth is to use these faders. As you can see, I have selected the EQ number 5 and the edit button is pressed. Then you can use the faders to set gain and also bandwidth, as well as moving it to the wanted frequency. You can also type the frequency in here and bandwidth and gain. You are able to select what type of EQ you want over here and that you do as well by having the edit button pressed. So let's take number 8 here for instance. We can select is now default bell but you might want to use a notch filter. It will look like this. As you can see the white curve represents the actual outcome of your EQing. And the colored curves represent what that specific EQ is doing. So if enabling 7 as well, you can see that 7th curve together with number 5's curve makes this outcome. In here is also where you set the delay for inputs and outputs. And you can do that in milliseconds or millimeters or meters or inch or feet or seconds. And you can type in the value or you can move the slider. Further, there are some functionality in the EQ found up in the left corner over here. If we start from the top, this is the place where you can actually make the EQs take up the whole screen. This can be very useful, for instance, if this EQ is actually controlling the whole front of house system, for instance. Please take a look at our tutorial video for how to set up groups in order to make your EQs being controlled simultaneously. But then it can be very good to, to have one PC taking up the screen where you do all the EQing like this. Second symbol in the top left corner is the camera. If you press the camera, it will take a screenshot of the EQ screen. That can be useful for transferring presets or just to have it stored somewhere. If you press the magnifying glass, you will end up in show mode. Things will now move a lot slower in order for you not to make huge mistakes or make too drastic EQing when in live show, for instance. When the T button is pressed, you will get figures on top of each EQ showing how much gain it has, what Q it has, and on what frequency it is operating in. The 1 to 10 digit buttons over here shows if the EQ is active or not. For instance, unpressing the 5 will have the EQ remain but being not active. So pressing the 5 again, you will see that it becomes active and the curve is now affected of that EQ as well. Each EQ page will look the same, but will control either input EQ1 or input EQ2 or output EQ1 and output EQ2. 